good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and whatchamacallits. I am Ramblin' Rusty Elm, and you are watching Ramblin' with Rusty. Welcome to another episode of Starfield. Last time, we woke up, we created our character, and we pulled our first artifact out of a mine on Vectera. Then we met one of the uh, Constellation crew, and I don't know why, but I am drawing a complete blank on his name right now. Barrett. We met Barrett. Bit of a condescending gentleman, but he is what he is. And of course, he did bring a pirate attack down on the uh, poor miners, and we helped defend them. After which he gave us a ship and sent us off into space. Once up there, we learned how to fly the ship. Fought off two attacks by Crimson Fleet pirates. And jumped over to the moon of Crete, where we are now. Landing, having landed outside an abandoned scientific research facility. Where we're going to take on some Crimson Fleet pirates. So, without further ado, here we go. Now, for those of you who watched the last episode, you may have noticed that uh, I had absolutely no commentary, which in reality isn't true. I had quite a bit to say, but like an idiot, I forgot to turn on my microphone recording option. So, none of what I said was recorded. So we're going to take another look around the ship here. And you can see the lasers here. Um, you can see the auto According to the scanners, there. the abandoned research facility is in And a missile direction. launcher. And the frontier here actually has four landing struts. And there's a uh, fuel tank there, the smallest one in the game. And of course, we have the grab jump and the generator. And this here is actually, from what I looked at before, a shielded cargo hold. Or at least it's called a shielded cargo hold. But I don't think it has actually any shielded capacity. So, it is what it is there as well. Oh, we got some nice jump height here. So up there is the shield generator. And, of course, the back engine. So, that's our ship. Kind of a nice looking old bird. Oops, hey Vasco, what are you doing? You know, what we didn't do was go through our loot from last time, so I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to straighten that out. Alrighty, we're back. I have taken care of the loot from last time, and now we are going to go in and make sure we got all of our weapons favorited properly. And then we'll head down here. Now, of course, I'm not playing this guy as uh, naive as he would be in real life to this stuff. Although be careful, settler, Captain. Probably Alien be. creatures are often unpredictable. Oh, okay. Hello. of life from the enemy. Okay, we'll that. Let's see what we got here. Oh, 
like to go around in a crouch because it lets me uh, move slowly. Of course, I could just do that. I don't see any kind of loot over there, but we'll make the sweep around. That would be a good reason to have a melee weapon. Oops. Oh, there's another one over here. There he is. Now this is the big fight scene for this place. There it often yells, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> I am not sure why. Pew, 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 pew. No, it hasn't. She's just hiding. There she is. There you are. Hey, you're mine. Oh, bad day for her. I believe we are no longer alone. You appear to be prioritizing your deaths over your own survival. significantly decreases one's life expectancy. I need to make better weapon choices. Wait, what was that? Guess I forget to come back through, which I've been known to do. Okay. Find all the slots, select a key, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so. Running. Uh, wow. So it looks like this one is best served. Like that. And.
that. No. So we do want that there. Yes, just like that. So now we go hit our buttons and hit the lock. And it's that simple. See, 0.27 caliber and 3 kilovolt lasers. We don't have weapons that use either of those, but we will. What the hell is this? Yeah. Vector graphics. Let's see if we can find this safe. Here's our save. Okay. And, you know, before we head out to the roof to do the final fight, I'm going to pause the recording here, and I'm going to go do my looting. So, I will see you shortly. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. Having looted the entire facility, I also discovered that I lost a lot of loot by not looting the bodies on the way through. So, in the future, I will be going ahead and doing that. And, let's see, we're back here. We're ready to go out and face the final boss at this location. So, but before we do that, I need to rearrange some of my weapon favorites here. Well, that's all I got. You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Does it matter? Eh. Oh, <laughs> no. You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets, and it's going to be ours. Seriously? That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. Well, that's something new for me. <laughs> If he were here, Barrett would say he was proud of you for asking that. The answer is no. Well, I guess it's time to make settled systems a better place. Open fire! Barrett and the Crimson Fleet have something of a history. They always assume he is a treasure hunter in possession of valuable objects. They are known. <laughs> It is a shame exploration requires so much bloodshed. I wish I had a better scope. Flawless health compromise. I do not feel pain. But I hear it is terrible. Warning. Mother 
board shut down. Imminent. You've already lost. weapon. I guess it's time to switch her up. Had enough? Not yet. Looks like you have. Keep your heads down! Ugh, blood! Take your fucking name and charge all that shit. Opening fire! These criminals really should be incarcerated. some bullets for something. Please avoid getting shot. You might die. Really? I've had a little bit of a scan around here, ladies and gentlemen, after finishing up that fight. I was unfortunately never able to get back up onto the top of the building, so I lost some loot up there from probably three bodies worth of people. And now, we are going to go ahead and uh, follow the instructions at the top of the screen. And... Learn how to fast travel. And here we are. Captain. Says we can also fast travel. To reach the lodge, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long. 
Well, he's not wrong about that, but we're going to go ahead and follow the instructions. Fast travel directly from the mission menu. Press tab. Go to the bottom for the missions. Toggle which quest is tracked in your head. Only one quest can be tracked at a time. Let's see, you can press set course button automatically navigate to your active quest objective. Okay, so we are only have the one quest, of course. So we are going to hit R. Important to note that you have to hover over the objective to actually use that function. And here we are at Alpha Centauri. Of course, we're in space, so... Starship Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Back to using the control. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. So, we select the planet. Open the menu. And we rotate it around to find our objective. play around with the controller for a little bit before it's in charge. Hey, Bosco! What? Mary? Let me see. Want to call Indigo again? Your memory is uncanny. Hey, kind of breaking my concentration here. Yeah, yeah, Gotta be honest? I'm a little surprised every time this ship makes it back in one piece. Really? Yeah, is it that bad? And here's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Eh, okay. Well, let's see. Uh... I have been in a fight. Looks to me like you're already in pretty good shape. Cool. Let's take a look at the ship. Sure, how about it? I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. And we'll come over here to the Trade Authority Coist. Let's see how much it has. Only 5K. Um, I honestly don't like dealing with the Trade Authority, so. Anyways, we need to get off to uh, Constellation. I'll save all the trade for the next episode. You guys can watch me run around. I can assure you this. Here we are, the lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. So I wonder how it works with the neutrality and joining a, one of the factions in game. Enter. Captain. Uh, Everyone will be in the library. Just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now. And he hopes you'll make this place your home. Right. Oh. Ridiculous. Easiest bet I'll ever win. You really We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Yes, yes, I suppose we do. If the game ever gets around to match Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? 
because he's a dumbass. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, who are you? Sarah Morgan, Chair of Constellation. That means anything you discussed with Barrett is my business. Now, if you would please answer my question. Hmm. Well, okay. Barrett's I dead. see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Oh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. <laughs> and if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to talk about it. It's a thing that almost killed me. So something did happen. Barrett mentioned a loss of consciousness last time he found an artifact. There. Yeah. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Country, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But, gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Oh, sure. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godfrey? You're on, Walter. Well... If we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Oh, well, yeah, I do want to go exploring. But I think I'll come back. Uh, well, let's have a chit chat with him first, though. Uh... We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond Very that, true. you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. <laughs> Well, my judgment isn't known to be anything great. How Individually, much... they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building... Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Yeah, that's assuming I want to be. So, I think I'm gonna take some time to clear my Fair head enough, but here. you need a place to stay in the city, right? Why don't you settle in here? We owe you that much. Well, Come find me when you're ready. And here. I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Fall damage. 
Yeah. By five percent. Well, that's a good thing to have. Okay, let's go find our room. Oh, wait a minute. Let's talk. I am at your service, Captain. Captain, now that you are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space, it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base for field research. Uh, well, let's, uh... I hope you're still glad you joined Constellation, Noel. For now. Yes, ma'am, of course. We'll come back to that tomorrow. I honestly can't imagine being anywhere else. Or in the next episode, I should say. You could have done just about anything. So, it's important to me that you feel valued here. There are days that are not so Only because I watched somebody looking for their room, do I know where to go. Which is this door right here. Second door, around the corner, from the bar. On the right, on the right. Okay, and we got a little bit of a safe here. And we'll wrap it up there, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good day, and remember, stop and smell the roses.